All right, man. So we spend a lot of time talking about how women, about women and what they do with their bodies in this country, especially when it comes to getting or removing enhancements. Turns out a large population or portion of men have turned to the knife to help them with their appearance and comp- appearance and confidence. The American Society of Plastic Surgeons recently suggested that 1.3 million men a year have turned to what is being dubbed the daddy do-over. The daddy do-over is in, uh, entails one or all of the following surgeries. BBL, which is a Brazilian butt lift, liposuction, mm-hmm ab implants and facelifts Mm -hmm. so um sticks we talked about this before as i mentioned but are you surprised by the amount of men that are turning to cosmetic surgery on a yearly basis um am i surprised by it no because that's what society is pushing towards anyway as far as beauty standards with men and women so i'm not Mm -hmm. surprised by it but my shock (laughs) <laughs> is that I'm not surprised that men are doing it. My shock is the amount of men that are doing it. You said how many? 1.3 what? 1.3 million men million a, year. a year. Not just not just have done it. A year. Are doing it. Are doing it. See, I did what I did in my research. I didn't fashion. see that. Yeah. In but the crazy thing fashion. is, but but see, you said the daddy do over, so it's so it makes it sound like it's more men that are in the demographic of 35 to 45, so to speak. That's what it, the, the, you would think that, but um, in, in my but, research, it's, but it's skewing younger and younger as yeah, as the years 100%. go on from what yeah. I've seen. So it's yes. like, exactly. They, glasses, they call, surgery, they Botox. Do, yeah. All that shit. Yeah. They so, call but they, it, but they, they call do it a daddy doer for what? Well, because um, of the type of enhancements that are being done to the body um some Mm -hmm. i I said lipo but a part of the lipo would be like chest augmentation so Mm -hmm. what we have seen we have never talked about this but from research what we have seen in this country is that testosterone levels in boys and men are at all-time lows so a lot of the younger generations and some in our generations, a little bit younger, um, mm-hmm. they are taking testosterone pills or uh, in ha- uh, hormones, or they're doing just hardcore steroids. And um, from the overuse of steroids, they get enlarged breasts. And so they have to get breast reductions. So chest augmentations, they have to get different things mm-hmm. into the body. So that's why younger generations are getting involved with it but then we also live in live in this vanity uh uh, which we call life now in social media so everybody's getting things done to enhance their look and try to look younger and younger on an ongoing basis but yeah but it but from from what, what i was reading up on was that a lot of a lot of men who feel like they can't i i guess i guess it's the same on both sides because i believe that a lot of the women who were doing it were doing it because they weren't getting the results that they wanted as far as like naturally. Mm-hmm. But that's the same thing that I was reading up on men. It's like they they tried to do like sports workouts and tried, you know, cardio and tried all of these things to get the look that they wanted, but it wasn't reaping the benefits that they wanted fast enough. Right. So you know we're in a we're we're in a we're in a society now where, you know, the faster the better. They everybody wants instant gratification. They call it so, the, the microwave and credit card society. Microwave and credit card society. I saw that too. So everybody wants such instant gratification that they're turning. That the, the, even the men now are like, "Well, I can't, I can't get my abs the way I want to, or I can't get my butt to look the way I want to." So now I'm about to go get me a BBL, <laughs> which, which is like. Which, from what I read, is totally different from what the way the, the women do it. Because, of course, a lot of women want the hips with the ass, but the men don't need the hips. They just right. want the butt to look like they got. I don't know what they want to do, honestly, because I'm not. Well, so, from what I read, that that's typically done by men in the LGBTQA community. I want to make plus, sure. Plus, don't forget plus. Plus, there you go. I want to make sure I'm saying all the letters and I probably still said it wrong, but probably um, did. from what I read, that is where it is mostly it, mostly men in those in that demographic. In that community. But that from what community I read too, though, was it. the people who I read up on were uh, uh, from what I know, straight men. You know what I'm that's saying? That's getting that BBLs? Just, that's getting like all of these procedures done to get them, to get the body that they 
don't feel like working for anymore. Yeah. So you know what I'm saying. So I read about the BBL specifically. Uh, I mean, I mm-hmm. read about all of them, but I read about the BBL right. specifically. And the article that I read um, said that the majority of those that are getting the BBLs are in the in that community. In the, that community. Yeah. The, I got you. The, uh, but LGBT but the BBL still is still the most dangerous cosmetic procedure currently that's on the market right now because yeah. I mean there's so many things that could happen with these injections as far especially if you're doing fat transfer too like some of the fat cells can get trapped in your veins and travel to your heart and your lungs so it's like the the fact that people are still doing these things is kind of crazy because you you hear so many horror stories with these things mm-hmm. like i've i've heard more horror stories and i've heard good stories about this you know what yeah. i'm saying especially when we talked about this way back in season one episode one mm-hmm. like like it, it's for me it's just one of those love yourself kind of situations to me like because yeah. it's just like we said back then it's like to me you're perfect with, who, with what you are but if you have those insecurities i can understand why you would do it mm-hmm. um to boost that confidence within yourself but at the same time it's like most people i'm gonna say people now since men and women are both doing these these surgeries Mm -hmm. and i can only speak for myself and i can i guess i can speak for men that i know most men don't give a fuck honestly yeah you know they do of course something it's something nice to look at aesthetically because we're yeah because we're visual by nature but at the same time it's like if you if it look too wild or too sloppy we don't that's the fuck Shit out of here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. But I don't you, know, man. You know, I, I just you, when you say when you say what you just said, if it looked too wild and too sloppy, are you talking about the man look himself, or are you talking about the woman look? The women, the the yeah. the, the women have the women who've got the enhancements. If it looked too wild, it's like yeah. okay, that shit. One hundred percent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 But with the men doing it, it's 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 kind of in that same vein, man. Like if you. Because I we talk about this all the time. I feel like I need to get back in shape. I need to lose weight. Me and you talk right. about this all the time. All the time. And gladly, my boys last night was trolling me on stream, making me do push-ups. I don't know if you saw that, D-Lo. Yeah, I did. I but did. they were trolling me. I did. Exactly. So, but that is one of those things where it's like, dude, just love yourself, bro. Like, whatever you have, you know, or don't have, then I, I wouldn't pay for it myself. Mm-hmm. But, I mean, that's Oh, that's so you would let me. somebody else pay for it for you. Okay. I got you. No, so now you troll it. So now yeah, I'm, just, I'm just saying, you, oh, you gonna pay for it? You gonna pay for it? Definitely not. Exactly. Um, but for, <laughs> I wouldn't pay for it myself. But yeah, I, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have. I wouldn't get it done. Period. <laughs> yeah. But okay. want me to ask this question again? No, sir. Don't ask me. Just ask me in, in, uh, in season one, episode one, or just episode one in general. Don't why, why, why? Why can't I ask the question? Because go ahead. Because my my answer is actually different. Okay, go ahead. <laughs> after, and ask. Do, after doing the research, because you know what I said last time, yeah, I was like, I'm getting my dick done because I'm yeah, not trying yeah. to have no fat ass. I don't, I don't need that. You're right. Yeah, but now reading up on this shit, nah, bro, I'm getting the BBL, dog. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Was, but both of them, are, both of them are stupid. Like, to, just to be honest. Mm-hmm. But I, I can't even say that, bro, because that's being that's being disingenuous, honestly, because it's not stupid. Because I understand why people would do it. So it's yeah. not stupid. I just feel like it's over the top, so to speak, to me, to be honest. Yeah. What do you think? I know, I know I've been talking a lot, but yeah. No, no, you're good. <laughs> I mean, we've kind of been going back and forth. I think that, again, as you, I think you said it earlier, it is a sign of the times that we are in. Um, we live in a credit card microwave society. We live in an era where Everybody has access to social media, presumably everybody has access to a cell phone. So you can easily pull it out, snap a picture of somebody um, and post it on social media. And Mm -hmm. it's presumed that the whole world can consume that that content. Right. So you want to make sure that you're always in the light and, you know, seen in the positive light. You don't want to be seen. In some circles, we we do have a a movement to where it's body positivity, um, right, and and rightfully so to some to some regard, right. But you know, you always want to make sure that you are seen in a positive light with your your body image and how your face looks, hair, and all that stuff. But 
not to be insensitive, I think we are moving away because of the climate that we're in with the, the instant gratification. We're moving away from actually putting in work and mm -hmm. getting the results in the long haul. Because, I mean, I can understand where some people or these people that say that they've put in the work, they've tried to do the workouts um, to lose the weight or to get their body to look how it looks. But, you know, it's just not happening. For I can understand, but mm -hmm. I can't relate to resorting to wanting to get my body my, my body done um to, to no, get you can the, you can you can empathize with but you can't sympathize with it yeah 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 like it's like different between I mean, empathy and sympathy for sure it, it's it's because the thing is the apple isn't sliced the same way for everybody exactly you know? so because one person works out and gets the results and still eats whatever they want to eat and gets the results that's not going to work for you like for me i I could work out last year. I worked out all the time trying to lose 20 pounds, could never get to 20. But the thing that I had to realize and the thing that I struggle with is, and the thing that I'm sure most people struggle with in getting what they want out of life uh, with body is mm -hmm. I have to work out, but I also have to eat well too. Mm -hmm. And that's a struggle for me because I have, I'm addicted to sugar. I eat and loads and loads yeah. of, right. I eat loads and loads of sugar. So me getting to where I want to be, is me saying, accepting the fact that I have to let go of sugar, but also continue to work out. Not saying, oh, well, I've done it enough. Now just let me go ahead and go under the knife and get what I want done. Look how I want to look. That's right. another issue that we have in America is when something doesn't go our way, we just throw money at it to get the results that we want. Mm -hmm. And that's why we're in the predicament that we're in with everything else globally. That's neither here exactly. nor there. Exactly. That's neither here <laughs> right. nor there. But exactly. that, that's how I feel about it is, like you said, I can empathize, but I don't sympathize with it. Exactly. And again, I not to be either. insensitive. Yeah, not to be. Not, yeah, that's what I say. I'm not trying to be disingenuous at all with, with, with the comments. It's just that's not something that I would personally do to enhance. I, I mean, if I, if I can't get it naturally, then... I just can't get it, bro. Like, right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not, I'm not about to spend 10, 15 K to have, you know, platelet, platelet rich plasma injections put into my, my penis because I feel like, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not about to do that, dog. Like, I'm not, yeah. I'm not about to do that. Like, it's just not something that, um, nah. And especially not getting like, the 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 silicone and the silicone fillers or the the fat graft and none of that or i'm not doing that i'm yeah. not i'm not it's like I mean, it, so many long-term complications with that that you know just like d-lo said in episode one like what if you what if it don't work no more what if you what if you in that joint holding it just to keep it in play? like you know I mean? ain't no way bro like i'm not it's, doing that it's a lot that comes that. with it and, but the funny thing is or the irony of this whole situation we we started out talking about not start out, but we mentioned women mm -hmm. and you have droves and droves of women that are now removing stuff, removing out of their body, and yeah. men are going to put it in. So, I mean, if, if we should be listening to anybody in this situation, and when I say we, I'm talking about men, we should be mm -hmm. consulting with women and understanding why they're taking it out of their body. And for the most part, to, to my knowledge is they're being sick or they're getting sick from it. Mm -hmm. They're not seeing the benefits from what they thought was an enhancement to their uh, egos, to their confidence, mm -hmm. to their overall body appearance. Oh, and or they're not getting the attention that they want any longer from those enhancements. But the overall uh, issue with why uh, you have so many women removing it is is causing them health issues. Exactly. So. Um, exactly. Because I mean, I, I think a good a good um, example of this is Black China going through what she's going through right now, taking all the fillers out of her face, removing her butt injections, got a breast reduction. Like she's trying to change her whole image from what she was whenever she was trying to keep up with the Kardashians. Right. Mm -hmm. So now she's and even even Kim Kardashian got a reduction. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like all of them are removing them because it's not I guess I. Number one, like you said, the medical complications behind a lot of all of these things. But secondly, as f number one, Father Time is Father Time is 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 undefeated. Undefeated. So eventually, it's not going. Eventually, it's not going to look as good as it did whenever you were twenty two and you got it done. Whenever you forty two, twenty years later, it's not going to look the same. 
Right. right? So a lot of them are getting these getting these things removed and going back to their 22 year old normal bodies because that to as we get older, that's what is, I guess, more appealing. Especially to especially to the people who are out there on social media in the public eye, it's like you don't want to be presumed because it's a lot of negative stigma behind all of that stuff too as well. Right. Especially if you are on social media as much as these some of these women are who get these things done. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we we definitely should be men who are getting these enhancements done should definitely, especially like BBLs and stuff like that. The men who are doing this should definitely be consulting with the women who have got them done and who have had. And, particularly the women who have had negative complications from it. Right. They should be definitely looking into those things because if, if you see these women having these same complications with these complications, with these same procedures that you getting done, why do you think it is going to be different for you? Right. Right. Cause I, mean, I if, if I'm looking, yeah. Go ahead. My fault. Nah. It, Cause it, if it were me, I would definitely be trying to reach out to somebody who's had it done and try to figure out what their uh, situation was and how, how, how they handled it. But, I mean, I, yeah. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not getting it done anyway, so it don't matter. Yeah. I mean, even with all the medical and techni technological advances, it's still, and it, I mean, in some regards, it is hard to detect nowadays. Like you mm -hmm. scroll on Instagram and I use Instagram because that's, I'm, I'm scrolling on Instagram quite often, but you scroll yeah. on Instagram and you can't really, it's like, damn. A lot of them are modest. A lot of them Ooh. are very modest now. Do she have sure. a BBL? Don't, right. and my wife knows I look what I look at mm -hmm. on Instagram for the most part, not to disrespect right. her, but you know, it's just like, damn, do she have a BBL? Is mm -hmm. that real? Mm. Right. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it is, it is getting hard to detect, but with the health complications, it serves a, a major risk. And so my final thought is, am I surprised by this? I think that I am surprised by the number, but when you really sit back and think about the type of, you know, type of society that we are with social media and all mm -hmm. that, I, I can't say that I'm too surprised by it. Yeah, and I, I expect it to get even worse as it gets, as we move along, unless they come out with some type of pill that reverses time and aging process to some degree, which, which they, nah, they, they said it's coming. They said oh, it's coming. Lord. So, so I expect the, the cosmetic surgeries to increase until that happens. And then definitely it will see a decrease in it, but a uh, move to that pill, whatever that is, so damn, they about to have a pill that get motherfuckers Benjamin Button disease. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, but I mean, my thing is, is that my final thought on it is a lot of as the as these clinics keep flooding social media with a lot of the different promotional material that they're putting out, and they're showing a lot more men on their pages getting BBLs and getting these enhancements done. Like as of right now, from what you said, as far as that number being, it's 1.3 million men a year are getting year. enhancements. So that means the market is very much crowded for these for these um, for these uh, clinics to keep doing these things. But I think a lot more, like you said, it's going to be a lot more men that are going to be taking that leap to getting these procedures procedures done. And uh, is is the the beauty standards are great. The beauty standards initially started off with women mm -hmm. and now it's moving into with the society that we live in the climate of the world right now like it's moving to them mark them marking it to everybody well yeah because like, this microwave society not, is crazy i'm not going into that but yeah it's definitely yeah it's definitely being marketed to both sides uh we mm. yeah yeah but I, the, yeah, the funny thing is <laughs> it's 1.3 million people reported by the american society of plastic surgery but how oh, many people are going out of, how many people are going leaving america going out of the country yeah that's not something. even worldwide because it was one case that i looked up it was a guy that was in brazil that would that had got um platelet the, the platelet rich plasma surgery in his in his man parts yeah. and then he also got a bbl as well and then i think let me make sure i'm saying this right now he just got those he just got those two but it's like but if if they went across the country, it would probably be three, four, five million. Yeah, I'm telling you, it'd be probably yeah. probably be a crazy number, crazy number. Well, just know, D Lo won't be getting that, and just know, sticks will not be getting that. <laughs>
<laughs> but if it was life or that situation, I'll just play. I'll just play. Say, here we I'll go. Just I'll, just play. I'll just play. I'll just play. I'll just play. Thank you for tuning into this episode. If you've gotten this far, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, and hit the notification bell so that way you miss none of the content. Also, you can find us on all the streaming platforms wherever you find your podcast.